Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie, Editor-in-Chief at TheServerSide.com, and I want to show you how to merge one branch into another branch in Git. So here is our initial scenario. Right now we've got one branch, and this one branch is currently in sync with another branch. Now I've called them one branch and another branch, but this could be your feature branch, this could be your development and master branch, and you want to take the changes that are in one branch and get them into that other branch. You want to go from your feature branch into your development branch, your development branch into your master branch. You know the various scenarios that we need to address here for the merge. Let's show you how you do it. Now starting off, one branch and another branch are both in sync. Okay, They both have this one file named alpha.html in them. Don't believe me? Well, we can check. We can actually take a look at the Git GUI, which says another branch, the master branch, and one branch are all in sync, all pointing to the same commit ID. And for that matter, we can even do git ref log, which says that one branch, master branch, and another branch are all totally in sync. And for that matter, here I'm on one branch. I could do a git checkout or a git switch, which is the way we're supposed to do it, and move to another branch. And you can see just one file in the other branch. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to add this beta.html file to the one branch, to the starting branch, to the first branch. So I'm going to switch over, git switch, to one branch, because we want to merge one branch into another. And I'm going to add a new file called beta.html. I'm going to use the touch command, but I could have just created the file normally. But notice right after alpha.html, after I run this command, a new file named beta.html, boom, there it is, gets added into this environment. Now, you got to do the ceremonial git add and git commit dash m for that file to get added to the git repository and specifically the repository for one branch but that is now in there but note as it stands this one branch has a beta.html file the other branch does not we want to sync these up so we want to merge one branch into another branch so that the other branch will have all of the files that also exist in the other branch. That is the eventual goal. So how do we do it? Well, if you want to merge from one branch into another branch, you've actually got to go to that other branch in Git. So I'm in the Git bash console here. I'm going to go Git switch and switch to another branch. Notice I've only got the alpha file, but I'm going to do a merge here. I'm going to do Git merge and I'm going to merge one branch into another branch. That's how you read that. I want to get, I want to merge one branch into another branch. Now when I do this, instead of having just alpha.html there, I'm going to have all the files in another branch that were in the one branch. Okay, let's do it. Click return. All of a sudden it says we did a fast forward merge beta.html has been added. You can see right here I have alpha and I have beta.html. That's all in another branch. So I've successfully merged one branch into another branch. And we can prove this if we do a git ref log. You notice that git ref log says that another branch and one branch are on the same commit. And if they're both in the same commit, that means they must be identical. Also, we're on another branch right now. I can do a git switch and switch to one branch. And as I do this, while I'm on one branch, I still have alpha and beta files there. So we know that one branch and another branch have been successfully merged together. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, I want you to head over to theserverside.com. I'm the editor-in-chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Git, DevOps tools, and enterprise development in general. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter, at CameronMCNZ. And uh, why don't you subscribe on the YouTube?